Hello and welcome to this tutorial on using the Reminders app on your iPad to further enhance your iPad Vibration Analyzer to make sure you don't forget to do certain routes or calibrations that you need to do typically. So here is what the Reminders app icon will look like. It should be on your home screen of your iPad and it's an app that reminds you as it sounds. So let's dive into this app and show you how you can use it to enhance your analyzer. First off, here is the inbox. This is kind of just a running list of things you want to accomplish. You're able to create new lists on the left there by just simply tapping create new list. You'll see a calendar below. Once you start having items in there, you'll have dates that are in red and things like that to show you when things are due. So let's create a new list. Uh, it's called it Chicago Facility. And you can have all sorts of lists. I, I like to have different facility listings to uh, jump in between. I'm going to add Los Angeles uh, facility as well as an example of having multiple lists. So um, in these lists, you're able to just simply have different tasks that you need accomplished. So we're going to start off in the Chicago facility and add just a route, Route 1 Building A. So this is a reminder for you to do this route. So you can have this set to go off on a certain day or even at a certain place. So let's set today, 9 a.m., remind me on this day. So at that time, it'll remind you of this task. You can also have it re repeat. So repeat every two weeks to make sure you do your route every two weeks, every month, or every year. So you have those different options there. And you can do by location. So allow reminders to use your location and when you arrive or leave at a location it will set that reminder to go off so you can have it set to an address or uh, things like that so it can integrate with your address book as well to make entering the address even easier so now let's get into uh, some different options you have priority list and notes priority you're able to set and that will basically make it higher priority for you to get that done so you can have it set none low medium or high and uh, that can be an important thing to do but for most uses i would just say none you can also have it moved to a different list so say you put it in the wrong list you want to move it to a different list you can do that by simply hitting the appropriate list Next up, you can have notes, and these are really important to add. So you can have notes of make sure to double check this machine because it's been problematic recently. So you can have different notes in there to remind you to make sure you watch after that little thing in there. So that's an important thing to add. So here is the inbox where I've added a recalibrate iPad accelerometer task. And this task is a good task to have in the Reminders app because it's something you want to do yearly. So I'm going to have it remind me on this day. Uh, but more importantly is I'm going to set that as a yearly, re yearly reminder where every year it's going to be a remind me to do just that. So I'm going to hit every year and every year it'll pop up as a reminder that this accelerometer needs recalibrated to make sure my readings are accurate. So I'm now going to add a note, use 1G Shaker, or send to GTI Spindle for $45 service fee to recalibrate. So we do offer that as a service fee to recalibrate your accelerometers, or you can buy 1G Shaker to calibrate it yourself and we can teach you how to calibrate your sensor. So those are the two options you really have for this. And here it is, here is the reminder. Uh, today at 9 a.m. yearly, uh, recalibrate iPad accelerometer and it tells you how to do that. I'm gonna click that off and check that off as a task that is completed and that's what happens when you check it off. I'm now going to exit the app and go back into it and show you that it'll reappear back in that list, but now it's gonna say 2014 on this date to do that. So that is uh, what happens there. When a reminder does remind you, it'll remind you in a couple ways. First up is this pop-up notification. Now this notification is both, t is both for this reminder time-based and location-based. It knows that I arrived at this location, so it's going to remind me of this task, and it also knows the time I wanted to be reminded, so it's gonna remind me because of the time. When it, it also reminds you based on this red, so there is now red checkbox when it is overdue, and there will be a one icon on that top right icon there, reminders letting you know there is one item that needs uh, done. So that is kind of a basic tutorial over reminders. There's lots of things you can use this for, and I really do hope you find a use for it, as I think it can make your 
predictive maintenance system that much more productive and useful for you.